The internet is making smart people smarter and dumb people dumber at a speed we've never seen before in the history of humanity. And so how you use the internet will determine how successful you become. In other words, which print-on-demand website you use will determine how successful your print-on-demand journey as an artist will be. So that's why we have this video, six best websites, print-on-demand websites for artists to sell art prints online. Now, this is crucially important because when I talk to artists, I see a lot of them, first of all, selling art prints. Some of them, for some of them, art prints is 80 to 90% of their income. And so this is crucially important because depending on what type of art you make, this might be one of your most important, if not the most important income stream that you have as an artist. And so this is very, very important. Now, for all clarity, before we go on, some of the websites covered in this video, like for example, Sachi Art, as you can see in the, in the screenshots now, I sold a lot of work there. But that's all original artwork, predominantly original artwork. And so some of the websites covered, I have some experience in the print on demand section of that website. I obviously also sold art prints via Sachi, but, but not always as the main thing. So just take that into account. You know? Anyway, let's go. Now, first of all, let's cover the metrics that I've used to, to screen all the websites that I've research for this video and so the first one is google trends why because you want to invest in a website in a platform that has a lot of potential thousands of views. you don't want to invest in a platform that will not exist anymore 10 years from now and so you have to look at the google trends you have to see how websites websites are are growing or declining for example redbubble in this screenshot you clearly see that that is rising in the last five years. Fine Art America, on the other hand, that's declining or staying neutral at best. And so very important. Now, if you look, if you take a deeper look into this whole Google Trends thing, you can also see the related search queries. And if you take a look there, you can see that Fine Art America is or has created a culture of discounts a culture of promotions and so that's something that you want if you're a commercial artist but if you're going in the museum direction the gallery direction the fine art direction then you probably don't want to have a promotion website you want to because the art world is very ex has an expensive culture it doesn't have a cheap promotional culture and so that is something to take into account now a second thing that we want to take a look at is the alexa ranking now there's a lot of information if you type websites into that thing one of the pieces of information that's very important for our case right now is the amount of time that people spend on that platform if you, if you compare for example redbubble with Fine Art America, you see on Redbubble, they spend what, 14 minutes, something like that. And on Fine Art America, three minutes. Now, 14 minutes, that's a shopping behavior. Three minutes is barely a shopping behavior. So that's something that you have to take into account. And then on top of that, on Alexa, we also see where the audience of that particular website is coming from. And so depending on which country you're coming from, you want to go for different platforms. If you're from India, if you're from Brazil, then you probably want to take a look into Saatchi. If you're from Japan, you probably want to take a look into Fine Art America. And if you're from Algeria, you probably want to go for Rebel Blend. So depending on where you're coming from, these websites have particular audiences that are in line with your audience or not at all. So that is something to consider as well. Now, the other things that we take into account are the age of the website whether or not the artists that are on those websites are actually selling a lot. Sometimes there are 40,000 artists of which a lot are selling some, but nobody's really selling a lot of stuff and then you don't want that. And so that's very hard to know, but you can go into forums and then talk with people and, and see what people are talking about and see what people are saying. And so that is something that we take into account as well. Then uh, obviously, we think about statistics, where do you get a lot of statistics and analytics as an artist or as a creator. That's important because you want to tailor your designs and tailor your, your prints towards what you can see in those analytics. Not all sites provide that. And so you, you oftentimes just don't know which, which of your prints are doing or performing very, very well. You want to know that, obviously. And so, so that is something that we take into account. Now, one of the more important things to notice is whether or not you get access to the data 
of your customers, whether or not you get their information. Because a lot of the print-on-demand websites that have a marketplace on them, like, for example, Saatchi or Heart, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that information. Now, this is crucial, and a lot of beginner artists underestimate this and how important this information is. It's crucial because of two main reasons. Number one, your customers. This is something that a lot of artists think is that, that they have some kind of brand, some kind of style, and that when customers want to have that style again, want to have that type of artwork again, that they will find a way to contact those artists. Now, in reality, that never happens. That just never happens. Nobody does that. If you, for example, take a look at Ikea. If you go to Ikea and you buy furniture and you like the furniture and five years later you want to buy the same type of furniture, you don't search up the, the furniture manufacturers that were delivering to Ikea. No, you just go to Ikea again and buy some new furniture. And so that's the same on Saatchi or Redbubble or any of those websites. And so you want to have that customer information to have that lifetime value of that customer and be able to sell to them again and again and again. Now, the second thing that this, this implies is that you don't have any possibility to do some retargeting campaigns. If you go into the online advertisement world, the majority of the profits are made on retargeting campaigns. What does that mean? That means that, that you're going to target particular types of ads to people who already visited your website, who already bought stuff from you, retargeting, again targeting them, you know? And that's, that's a very powerful tactic. If you don't have the data of your customers or the people that are visiting your website, then you can't do that. And so if you're using one of those marketplaces, you cannot do that. They can do that. They have that information. And so this is very important to understand as a beginner artist. And so that's why we are going to divide the best websites into two groups in this video. The first group, POD websites, print on demand websites that, that have a marketplace as well where people can go on and then search for particular designs and then buy from that. And then print on demand websites that don't have that. Print on demand websites that, that provide integration for your website where you can then, or, or your, your storefront like Shopify or Etsy or whatever, where you can then offer art prints of your own. And so, so the print on demand websites with a marketplace, I rank them as follows. On the third place, Fine Art America. And on the second and first place, depending on uh, which direction you want to go as an artist, I would put Redbubble and Saatchi Art. If you're a fine artist, if you're an artist that wants to go for museums and all of that stuff, I would probably still consider Saatchi Art because of the brand that they have and because of the collectors and a lot of other stuff. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you're, for example, an illustrator and you're thinking about uh, illustrations and you're thinking about post like like all of that type of stuff then you probably want to go for Redbubble that's going to be a better pick for you now as I said those marketplace type of print on demand websites are probably most likely the, the the worst option for you whether you're an illustrator or a fine artist the best option is to build your own website where you can then sell art prints on or your own storefronts where you can then sell your own art prints on the next three print on demand websites are your best options because for the next ones you will have your customer data you will be able to do that retargeting campaigning and all of that type of stuff and so i'm going to give them in random order because it really depends the, the, the number one really depends on what type of artist you are and what goals you have and so the first one is finer works if you're a fine artist and you want to go down to a museum type of stuff you probably want to pick finer works because they have in terms of quality, they have the fine art paper prints, the canvas prints, the real qualitative stuff. And they also have some extra type of things like, like a certificate of authenticity. They can provide a certificate of authenticity for your customers with a print on demand service. So this is, this is a very unique type of thing. And they're clearly thinking about how to serve the artist as a customer. And so finer works is, is the ideal option there. Now, if you want to go as an illustrator, the illustrator route where you might want to have some mug designs or t-shirt designs or any of those type of things, apparel and, and all of that stuff, you probably want to go for, um, printful. 
uh, I almost forget the name. It's one that I use myself as well. Now, Printfulis is really cool. Why? Because it's from all of those print-on-demand famous websites like Goethen, um, Printful, Printify, all of that stuff. Printful is the qualitative one. It has the highest color quality of them all. And so that's probably the best option that you have as a as an artist, because as an artist, you want to stand for quality. You're not a cheap type of vendor, you know? And so Printful is probably your choice. Now, if you want to go and print, this can be for illustrators or fine artists or anything. If you want to print art books and magazines and all of that type of poetry, whatever, like self-publishing books, this happens a lot in the art world, then you should take a look at Lulu Express. Now this is, I know, not the art prints, traditional type of stuff, but I, it's, it's too useful to, to uh, not mention because they really focus on those things. And so those are my top three non-marketplace print-on-demand websites. Now there's one more thing left. And this is probably the all-time best option. It's not a print-on-demand service, but I have to mention it. Otherwise, this video would kind of feel incomplete. Now the biggest problem with all those print-on-demand things, the one with the marketplace and the one without one, is that you don't have any control over the quality of the print in the first place and over the delivery of the print. You cannot sign the print. In the art world, it's custom tradition that you sign the print. That brings extra value to your print as well. And so this is all very important. And so that's why I have to mention that if you are able to buy your own printer and do it all yourself, which is going to be way more work, then you might want to go and do that option. That is probably going to be the, the, mo the safest one that was the future and the most scalable one that was the future as well. And so even though it's most work, even though it is the opposite of leveraging your time, it's investing more time, hopefully time that you can later outsource to other people, but it's the one that is that is going to have the most qualitative outcome towards collectors. Collectors want to have prints that are signed, limited edition signature art prints. And so that's something to think about. Now, if you want to know more, Watch one of these following two videos. Here you have one print on demand Redbubble video that explains you all everything about Redbubble, the whole sales aspect there. And then the other one is another print on demand video that is probably gonna be cool for you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hope to see you again sometime soon. Ciao, ciao.